to really make sure that you're tuning into the right. And in your team, these are the people that will be the ones that are the peacemakers, right? They'll be the ones that actually find ways for everyone to work together in ways that creators and stars won't. And what's really important is you have to have the whole team. Now, what's really powerful about this as well is realizing that even when it comes down to service, often we start a business and it starts in this, which is spring energy. So these are actually the seasons as well. So you go from spring energy, and then from that spring, you then go to what happens over here, which is summer, and then you have autumn and you have winter. And every industry, uh, every uh, 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 country, it, like even every team, will always go through the cycle. And, and so your winning formula becomes a losing formula as it moves from one level up to the next, which is really important to know as well. Uh, by the way, governments don't get this. Like in Singapore, for example, the whole Singapore government got really freaked out about the fact that there was no one that was that creative in Singapore, right? It's never been known as a creative country. And so as a result, the Singapore government even put an entire like, you know, education program together for people to go and teach their kids, like tell their kids, go be creative, right? I, I, I think point friends, and while this was happening, that's exactly what they would do, right? They'd come home from work, and they'd go, hey, something, right? And the son comes up, and he goes, yes, daddy. He goes, go, be creative, Woo, yes, daddy. He goes running off, right? Five, five minutes later, comes running back here, daddy, daddy, yes, what? How? I don't know, just go do it. It's like, oh, yeah, be creative. Right, because was Singapore made successful as a creative nation or as a trading nation? A trading nation, right? So if you actually look at the top 10 wealthiest people in Singapore, they're all traders and accumulators, right? They're all down here, right? As opposed to actually being up here. That, and by the way, this happens in service. Like, like when I fly Singapore Airlines, right? Super high service, right? Because they're, they're watching everything. They've got very high peripheral vision. Like this is depth of vision, this is breadth of vision, right? One of them is about, about perspective, one is about perception. So, so service is all about good perception, right? And so you're getting all this like really awesome like, you know, service wherever you go. Uh, but then when I just went to London recently from Singapore, I didn't go on Singapore Airlines because there wasn't a flight that day. Uh, so I ended up on British Airways. <laughs> British Airways, <laughs> not, not such good service, right? <laughs> but that's okay because I realized that, that like England, very similar to America, is not a trading nation. It is a creative nation, right? Which means that, and it's true actually, if you go to England, it's just full of all these incredible mad geniuses that come up with these incredible ideas that will get stolen by the Japanese. Right, so, so it's a, it's a, it's a totally different type of country, right? And understanding this is really, really important. So you've actually got down here, the opposite of up here, you've also got these ones on this side and these ones on this side. So on the ones on this side, we have the lords. Hands up the lords in the room. Lords, ah, okay. What about mechanics? Hands up mechanics. Okay, so quite a few lords and mechanics. Uh, not as many as creators and stars, but they're still here. Lords are the ones that are making money from the cash flow, like landlord makes money from the cash flow. Whereas the mechanic makes money from creating, but not creating brand or product, they're creating a system. And they're really good at doing it. When about 10 years ago, the wealthiest people in the world were all accumulators. That was Warren Buffett, that was Carl Slim from Mexico, that was Lee Ka Shing from Hong Kong. When, when basically the top were uh, accumulators, I said, within 10 years time, the wealthiest people in the world will be mechanics, right? Because they're gonna go through the laws of mechanics because you've actually got, going from autumn to winter, the entire economy, which is what's been happening. And sure enough today, Jeff Bezos, mechanic profile, and Mark Zuckerberg has actually increased his wealth massively as well. They're all mechanics that are actually building systems. And it's gonna be then the creators and the stars that become the next that actually really make the money. And, it, and it's always this way where you can predict what's coming next, not because you're a fortune teller, but because you're a surfer, right? The surfers can predict when the next big wave's gonna come because they can sense it coming. And then you actually start seeing, oh, no wonder I'm not making money. I should be somewhere else doing what I'm doing. It's very interesting because like America, is so big as creators and stars, but the world economy has been over here, which is why America has been struggling so much. And so by understanding that and going, oh, no wonder. So where, where are the creators and stars making money right now? Oh, they're making money in China at the moment. They're making money in Africa right now. What am I doing in America? I could be using these same tools and going and thinking globally. And that's what the top uh, American entrepreneurs are doing right now. I mean, you might have noticed Elon Musk was in China just last, last month, right? And as a result of the, the fact that here in America, uh, the trade war against China was meaning that if you're a car manufacturer, you're getting 50% uh, tax on any cars that you are actually selling in China. Uh, what Elon Musk did was like, hey, I'm, I'm not gonna have that going, so instead of me complaining about the government, I'm just gonna go out to China and say to China, hey, do you want me to be your poster boy? Because if you do, then why don't you basically let me have a Tesla factory in China and then give me all the same uh, uh, benefits that anyone who's uh, building in China get. And what did they do? They gave him full tax benefits and half, the Chinese government gave him half a billion dollars through the Chinese banks to basically build his factory, right? So he gets the best of both worlds. So it's just about how do you change your location to be in the receipt of flow as, the, as opposed to being the victim of flow, right? How do you do that? And the answer is don't just stay here in, in America trying to basically surf a wave, which is no longer surfing, right? So this is really important to actually understand that these ones on this side, this is about basically understanding that there are two opposites also of leverage, two opposites of thinking dynamic, two opposites of action dynamic, 
the two opposites of action are going to be on this side, the people who are more introvert. Introvert is an action dynamic, which is the opposite of extrovert, which is over here. And the people on this side are really good at being able to leverage through something which is called multiply, which is being able to make things simple and make many of them. So it's asking the question, how can this happen without me? Create a system. So some of you have got business models which are based on a system. The opposite is over here. Uh, hands up the supporters in the room. Supporters, uh, quite a few. Hands up the deal makers. Yeah, that's quite a few as well. Like, by the way, if anyone on your table has put their hands up for either support or deal maker, keep close to them because they're meeting everybody. Like during the breaks, they go out and meet everyone. This just happens, right? Because it's just natural for them to do that. They'll go through the whole week meeting people. They'll get to the end of the week after meeting all these people. They'll still have no idea. Why did I meet all these people? They have no idea. No, I just met them all. Right? Because, because they've got, because this is like fire. It's like wildfire happening, right? Like the supporters here, this is people like uh, uh, Jack Welch, who was a supporter, like really good leader, right? Um, like, you know, if you actually read um, uh, Howard Schultz's uh, book for, from Starbucks, like, pour your heart into it, right? Like, he never started Starbucks, but he actually was all about the culture, all about the leadership. So, like, supporters can be billionaires, right? Like, like uh, Steve Ballmer, right, became a billionaire in uh, Microsoft, but it wasn't by going out, just going crazy, like, trying to create his own thing. It was by him actually lighting a fire on the wood, which was the wood that was created by Bill Gates, right? So, these energies are actually found in the... And deal makers are like the master of system we mentioned yesterday. Um, uh, if you actually look at this from the point of view of um, energies, these people are making things simple. These people can't help but make things complicated, right? So there's no <laughs> point going out trying to make it simple. This is magnify. Magnify is not how can it happen without me. It's how it can only happen with me. Like so, like you know, it has to happen in your team. It has to happen in your brand. It has to happen in your deal. So you'll show up for that, but you only have to show up once in a while, and the whole thing will grow. So there are magnify strategies. There are multiply strategies. You've got to do things natural for you. Because if you like hard work, someone's going to beat you who does it naturally. Um, and also understanding that each of these links to energies, we were talking about the energies yesterday, this is wood energy, this is fire energy. So if you actually are on your own here trying to figure out what to do, you'll never get there. But if you get, oh, my question is not what is who, who should I connect with, right? And there's the what is here, then who has the wood that I can turn into fire, right? Who has the product that I can market? This here is all about the when, which is why they're so good at timing, right? This is the earth energy. Uh, this is all about the how, which is why they're so good at systems, right? Which is the winter energy, right? This is basically the metal energy, um, and these are all the f f these are four out of five elements. The fifth one is water energy, uh, and understanding the fifth one, which we'll get into later, it's really important to link all of this together. Uh, the most important thing about this is you cannot build an exponential business without a team, and the team has to have the different elements to actually allow you to grow. But you need to do the thing that's natural for you, and so this goes way beyond just how you work as a team through today. Uh, it also is about how you make sure you build the right team for your own business in order for you to go exponential as well. So just take a moment and on your table, just first of all, just give everyone a chance just to share, well, what is your profile? Like, what is your profile on the table? So you can kind of see, are you a bunch of creators together? Right? Do you have a good mix? Like, I mean, like, who are you missing at the moment? And then after you've actually just all shared, uh, then basically, if anyone, you have any anecdotes or ways that you've used Waft Dynamics or insights you've had, about that, then have that conversation, and then we'll just take a few questions before we move on, right? Um, so take a few minutes and just uh, share with the table what are your profiles, maybe even write them down, uh, and then have a conversation about uh, 